Flat Earthers Brian's Logic and Mitchell from Australia released this video about Flat Earth Sky Miles. Nautical miles have absolutely nothing to do with the surface of a globe out. They are a measurement of the sky, which are then translated onto the Earth's surface via the zeniths of the observer and chosen celestial object. To confirm their story, we sent out our Al Baruni bot to multiple planets where no celestial objects were visible. Measuring the dip to the horizon, he was able to determine the radius of each planet and the nautical miles. As it's clear that one does not need a sky to determine nautical miles, flat earthers will be denied their flat earth sky miles. To tie this all together with flat earth navigation, let's go to the flat earth navigation expert Loki Fish Mars. Thank you, Zerobot. As you can see here, 600 nautical miles becomes an ever-increasing length in statute miles. This also introduces a curved baseline from north to south, which directly violates the flat earth requirement of a straight baseline. This would result in there being no direct conversion of nautical miles to, to statute miles. This is further compounded with the geometry of the actual height of stars directly contradicting every almanac's corrected true sighting angles. Now we did cover this in a previous broadcast, but wanted confirmation from the Oakley Institute of Celestial Navigation. Uh, I'm still unclear here. I, I, are people talking about actual heights of stars? No. Yep. Would trigger, would, right. Yes. We're not trying to calculate the yeah. height of the stars. We're trying to calculate the distance to the GP above the star, Brian. So that's how oh, you're yeah. doing it to calculate the GP. You're just not utilizing it to give you the height. Could you back engineer it and do that? Yeah. The end result is celestial navigation with a sextant, as it's been done for centuries, is still not possible on a flat Earth. So unless they rewrite the calculations, corrections, and almanacs, they're still very hopelessly lost at sea. From the team here at Flat Earth News, good night all, and we'll leave you with this little gem. The dip horizon is not because of a curve.